Welcome back, everyone, as we had a quick break just to kind of cool ourselves off after a great 8-6 frilling map of bank between Sonics and Orglas. But, James, now we move into our next one, which we expect a lot more from Sonics this time around. Yeah, but we haven't actually seen too much from Sonics on Clubhouse during the season. We do see it get banned out a lot. Mm -hmm. We get the idea that teams, potentially in scrims as well, not too confident at taking Sonics to yep. Clubhouse. But, really, we haven't seen too much from them. So we'll go into Clubhouse now. We'll see exactly how it is going to be going down from them as we move into Clubhouse. Orglas, and now and a quick change is also from Orglas, is that Forceful is no longer playing. And Blonde's power is back, so he's going to be back in. <laughs> Super still. <laughs> he's still shaking. You know, you get the Earthquake, and then you get the Aftershock, don't you? Yeah, yeah. What's wrong with that shit? It's a classic Sonic fan. Yeah, cla honestly, it's kind of became classic everywhere. Like, everybody's banning Thatcher now. <laughs> like, it's... <laughs> okay. Uh... <laughs> what in the... A Thatcher and a Thermite ban. So that's twice now we've seen a Thatcher and then a Hard Breach ban coming out. But Clubhouse, I think, is very much defined by its operator bans. Like, not as much as Bank is. Like, don't get me wrong, like, a Havana ban is pretty devastating on Bank, but pe people are pretty familiar with how to do that. Maverick kind of being essential here now. Is going to make things interesting. Ogles, however, are going to ban Cade. They don't want to give that to Sonics yet again. So we'll see how things are going to be going down as we see Sonics' final ban. I'm going to guess an Echo. Yep. So, you know, Sonics actually used to bring a decent amount of Mirror on Clubhouse. I'm wondering if they're going to use their old strats where they do bring a lot of Mirror, or if they don't do that anymore with Gonfi and, um, and Slabin in the roster now. But we'll, we'll have a look at what they want to do here. I do know, like, we talk about Mirror on Clubhouse, and we talk about that she's not really that useful, but mm -hmm. she definitely does have her kind of her moments, and we will see Mirror in the initial lineup. We'll see if that's sixth bedroom. We'll see Gym Bedroom as the first site for Sonic's head. Okay, so going straight for the Gym, uh, Fermite Ban is out of the hard breach because Maverick's pretty common occurrence to be banned, so is a banner. He sometimes gets banned, for example, this time around. But I don't know if that would give as big of an impact compared to banning Habana or Maverick. Yes, I get the idea of trying to sanction off the bigger holes, but in reality, the only reason why the hard breach is there is to create those massive gaps to disallow the attackers and actually rotate in a way. Because you think about from like top four cash perspective, Defense teams will hold in towards catwalk. If you open up that wall, it's simply just to make sure that guy doesn't leave the catwalk as you're trying to push him out, and also means that nobody can go back to help him. As long as you still have a hole to give cover, most teams will take the diffuser up catwalk and try and plant there anyway. So I don't really think the Fermite ban is going to be a too big of an issue. Like even if you look towards, for example, well, gym and bedroom not having it for jacuzzi yes could be an issue but we've seen teams just open up jacuzzi and then push everybody in to kind of like a collapse in towards the gym yeah it's true it's true so you know we'll have a look at how, how sonics want to hold this but we shouldn't see anything too new coming out from them considering they do have relegations a very very important match coming up on the first of november against a bay so we'll have a look at what that's going to do down but round number one gym it's definitely like going to the offsite first. It can definitely throw off your opponent. Yeah. But Orglus, I feel like with this lineup, they could go to any site. So they've put a mirror window in towards the cache. That's not to be played for aggression for Sonics. That is used specifically for information gathering. Because that's the thing about the mirror window. She is an intel operator. All of the big defender bands you know, Maestro, Mira, and Echo, they all provide information, and attackers know how useful that can be, because attackers, they don't get a whole lot of information gathering tools compared to what they have, uh, and that's like a big reason, because that's why we see all those bands, because they're that strong. Like, even if you look at this one inside a bathroom, you can see anything in towards that jacuzzi as well, just to feed information to perhaps somebody on main stairs holding that position. All right, true, you don't have to play this aggressively, and you can just give all that info off, so Sonic's yeah. definitely making good use of the mirror availability here. As we move further into round number one, just about a minute into the round now, and Orgles looking to take that early control, but it looks like they are mavericking open. I'm sure there is no bents or anything like that, but there's there's absolutely nothing here right now. But it looks like they're just playing for the angle. Oh, oh no, they're going to try and go. Okay. They're going to try and yeah. destroy that because that's the thing though about the Firmite. Like, he creates those big massive breaches. Maverick yeah. pretty much has to use like a lot of his blowtorch. So he can't really do much afterwards. 
but he still makes, you know, blows up half the wall simply. You do have to use a little bit more time consuming because already has one minute 30 gone and you've only just opened up your breach now. But it is Clubhouse, the map which is generically slower compared to everywhere else. And that's a repel in main stairs window. Ash is now on main stairs. How she ended up there? There's no castle or anything like that at all from Sonic, so they're not going to be able to die any angles. But Makarov, as he said, has already made his way up onto the main stairs. Flashbang's going deep into logistics, it would look like, but no push coming out just yet. So moving to the final minute of the round, Oglas really going to think about how they want to do their tank here, but they actually have quite a lot of open, and they still have capital uh -huh. bolts as well to do with that mirror in the bathroom. But then there is a lot of C4s, though, from Sonics. At least three of them available, and we could see a rotate from below. Mirror window still intact. First C4, as we talked about it, goes away. And Super, he's completely fogged yeah, out. He can't see anything, but Sonics, all of a sudden, they pick up some kills, but then there's Ash to try and refrag in, and does get one down in that. An extremely low HP, and now we can see the rotation from the two Europeans. They will try and make the way back to bomb site. both of them fragging in towards the window, and we're going to see a quick jump out from Gumphy. No claimer to worry about, and... That's an easy oh, frag for him. That easy. has to put the round in favor of Sonics now. Yeah, it's 2v5. Not looking too good for Oglas at all to try and bring this in right now. Just trying to beat the mirror window for coming out. With a Everyone's just in the hallway right now. Bravadoc does manage to find Neptunes. But to claim more down, but it's only 15 seconds left to go. He's just going to try and get some exit frags here. He's got no utility whatsoever to try and bring this in. And just everyone's just playing their angle. It seems like it's round over. He brings the pistol out, tries to go for the pre-fires, but runs by time. But no! It's actually going to be a frag out from Slevin that does win it out. Sonic stick round number one in a very aggressive hold. Oh, drone roll. Oh. Oh, that is unlucky. Wow. It's just the side of his foot as well. Yeah. So, Jim, going in favor of Sonics. Orglis look as if they were set up really nicely. You know, being able to take main stairs, opening up the wall. Mm. It's just the fact that mirror windows there is really troublesome. And... <sighs> Habana's up, right? Why aren't they using the Habana to try and eliminate the mirror windows? Because that's the big thing about Mira, is that she is really tough to deal with because it's a reinforced wall. The only way you can get rid of it is either you shoot it by, like, going below, mm -hmm. or you get Twitch Tornone, which is very rare. Yeah. More common is you just Habana it off. Because really, if you're opening up that breach, what else are you using those Habanas for? Nothing else. I think maybe there was a fear from Orglus that it was going to get bandit tricked, and they were trying to like push the mirror out rather than doing that. But there was no bandit. Yeah, Sonic, they could just so drone no out to see who's Sonic's behind the mirror window. That yeah, doesn't take a lot of it's, time. It's one of those things that from Sonic. So I was looking at their lineup, and there really actually wasn't that much to deny what was actually the push there no. from Orglus to try and push through that jacuzzi side and go for that uh, go for that take. But <laughs> it seemed like very very lackluster field, very very slow from Orglus. They rely so heavily on the man in bathroom, because if they lose that control of bathroom, it means they lose control of the entire bedroom, and yep. it also locks off the guys in construction. So now you're sitting without the bathroom control, and two of your guys are in construction, doing absolutely nothing because they can't get back in the site. And from there, it's a simple gym plan. That's the only thing Orglus were missing, because Sonic's day, it was risky enough, I think, going for the single mirror window and having it, you know, sometimes we even see teams just fully reinforced bathroom and have the bandit in there just bandit tricking away. Of course, they could fear the Maverick and Mira, you know, we've seen have a big impact in terms of information being gathered, but it could have went wrong for Sonics. But now they move in towards the basement, which is a lot more easier to defend for a lot of teams. You can really hunker down and get these angles being made. And you see the vertical. So I'm guessing Impact Tricks is going to try and be established without the Fermite being there. Habana Palace now, they're very, very deadly uh, going up against Impact Tricks. I feel like the Thermite ban as well. You, you are definitely right about that. You need four Habana pellets at least on yep. the hash to try to break it. And it's going to make it impact tricking a much easier task as well. And to be able to just trick it out generally. But I think the Thermite ban as well for Orglus means like, you know, Timzy is just that known Thermite main. And, you know, he, he, he did some great entry fragging on the Thermite. Have you seen what he just said? <laughs> <laughs> Looking like a smoked turkey for a holiday that doesn't exist. Oh, that's unfortunate. Just, I don't know if you've seen that. He's making up holidays. Lucky. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's, going let's, on? Just, let's just move on from the chat. There's going to be no cave as well, media so ban. the blonde should be able to just open this hatch up with ease, but maybe he's a little bit cautious he's about used if there's a lot of stuff yeah, for that. I don't think blonde's too used to using the Maverick because whatever was going on that jacuzzi wall, it was taking him a long time to get it open. 
why are they complimenting each other as if they're <laughs> well, foods on, they're a, on a roast dinner? They know each other quite well. They're friends, right? So. Yeah, but they're playing in, you know, a kind of match. I don't know if you've noticed. This isn't like a scrim. Might be a scrim to them, because at the moment, Sonic's there just running rampant. Gomfy just a wide swinging in and does eliminate the Ash, which Ash could have been pretty deadly, you know, R4C close range. Yeah, I could have been, you know, we've seen how many times an Ash just pop off out of nowhere. But then again, Ash doesn't really provide a whole lot of utility. You're literally picking that for the frags. And I'm surprised why they didn't go for the Twitch, because they kind of like the Twitch a lot more in Bank, didn't they? <laughs> and Rabbit up going to be trying to push in and what he can do here. But it's not looking too good for him at all. Nitro is going to go out. But unfortunately, they're going to miss. And the push is starting to come through from August, but they do not have a lot of control at all. They need to get into church and try to open this up. But this mirror has just been devastating so far. It just, they've completely denied the push with this at all. Goddess wide peeks out of the hallway and picks up Magarov. She's going to be able to still hold that down. Now with 3v5, Ogles looking absolutely awful in this attack right now, but they still have a lot of utility, but not a lot of time left to get into the back armory, but Goddess takes him down. It's going to be slightly picks up Bravo Dog, and the impact comes out to secure the kill for Neptunes. It's all going to be down to Blan to try and bring this in. Does manage to find Gomfi, but he's got to find four more if he wants to bring this in. 20 seconds left to go on the clock. Doesn't expect the Jaeger to be holding down the main stairs. It's going to be Sonic, sorry, the Mirror to be holding down the main stairs indeed. It's going to be Sonic to take round number two. Much more dominant coming out from them in Clubhouse than it was on Bank, I think. Again, mirror windows being an issue for them. There is operators with frag grenades, which kind of make the most sense to eliminate the mirrors. You simply toss in a frag, bounce off the wall, and that kills the man behind it. It's not really that elite of a strategy to go for, but these mirror windows are just staying up, and there's real no punishment from Orglis, because you think about the mirror windows, they're opening up one side of the wall. Sure, you're lacking the Fermite to create the mass, you know, the what massive, massive breach. Uh, so that's the new glass, so we're going to expect, like, you know, have you seen the new glass? You've seen the RPM from it? Yeah. It is, it's, it's like a minigun. But uh, Lion's there. I, I don't think Lion does a lot. I, I really am on the side of, you know, Lion's been nerfed and he's just, he's mediocre at best. I think the the only team I really see run Lion really effectively is Liquid. Rogue ran it well last night as well, to be fair. Yeah. Or not last night, the last NA play day. The, yes, the last NA play day. Um, I think Liquid do quite well with it. But yeah, you are right. Like, he did get nerfed pretty much into the ground. And yep. You don't see him being used too much these days, although with some good coordination and some good droning, he still can be effective. Is it good for Clubhouse, though? I'm not too sure. The sad thing as well about it is that this is the first mute being picked up as well by Sonic, which just kind of fits into their Freya things. Yeah, I'm pretty sure... Wasn't he on, like, the smoke before Neptunes on their gym and bedroom? I'm... <laughs> God, fuck. <laughs> I mean, he Forceful was doing, I, I don't know, like a little bit better on the utility with, uh, with the Maverick, so... I'm pretty sure they did bring a Mute for the gym defense. They didn't have it the last one, though. But that's no, maybe why the they think one. they picked the Lion this time around. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, for this, it's just it's just a perfect pick now in towards the Lion. Because you have four, like, four Mute Jammers is really strong. Like, you can cover a lot of stuff. Like, you can essentially cover the Breach, you can cover yeah. Main Stairs, you can cover Construction and Catwalk. Don't forget also that Vigil does counter Lion as well. Mm -hmm. That if you do have that, uh, the scanner up yeah. as well. Yeah, it's just a little to... niche thing that Vigil it, goes it, on. It is, but I think it's been used effectively in the past as well. Like, teams like G2, you know, uses it quite well against teams that do run Lion, so... There's a little bit of counter coming out oh. there for <laughs> Abu Dog. And he does lose his breach He's charge, lucky, him. He's lucky. I uh, wonder if he's going to go for it again. I, I've seen teams try and, like, breach and charge, like, a half-broken barricade before, which is, like, really strange to me, and I don't know why they just don't Where is just the Maverick? shoot it. How is Blarn in? He's just walked what? in. There's no mirror this time. He's brought the Twitch, oh, no. and it just hasn't worked out. And I wonder if anybody's going to follow him. Makarov no. will, and now it has went in their favor. A massive double kill, and there goes the first Lion charge to be popped. And Sonics and Slebin both ready to defend the A bomb site, and well, God is still defending Catwalk. Yeah, Goddess is still going to be holding it down. She's been doing a great job so far on the My Show. She has that kind of turret that just. Punts it down and yep. the other. It's a. You imagine you could prop that with a bipod? Yeah, no, it's That'd terrific be. to deal with, definitely. <laughs> Make it happen, guys, let's do it. And she's got a great angle as well to hold down. She's also got that info as well coming out from her mind show cams to be able to deny anything, as well as her teammates. But she's going to move on to behind the bomb. Takes out Makarov as well. Almost trying to take out Timsy as well, but the line charge is going to come down. Timsy trades it out. 
contest now. Could it be a 2v2? Teams, he moves in to try and eliminate more, but gets traded out instantly. Gonfi now in a 1v1 against Bravo Dog, the fracking legend from Bank, but Gonfi deals with him easily as Sonic's take round number three. Lauren is nasty, a goddess, absolutely just destroying all of that push coming through. <laughs> I don't know anymore. What do we do with Superman? Like, what do we do with him? <laughs> Focus on. I don't know anymore. <laughs> I really don't. He he does like his Diet Coke. It's true. Oh, wild. So, Absolutely wild. Moving into round number four, and Sonics are looking flawless right now. And uh, they're going to go to a gym bedroom yet again. But Ogle should expect this now. They're still going to stick with this line. I just don't think that this was uh this was the strat honestly timsy did get a frag out of it to be fair what is happening in this chat i don't i'm just looking at it and thinking where did we go wrong you know like we don't see this from any other region apart from na i really want to see a bar hold now now that they've said it I really want to see them go bar. Oh, the E-Gang e special. Six. Let's see the E-Gang e special. special. That sounds fun. I'll order one of those. No, you want E-Gang e special? The E-Gang e special is for Avian to capital smoke out the courtyard when it is not mm -hmm. a blue bar push at all on coastline. But, you know, that happened a few times only. Yeah, but, you know, Chops Avian me. is Avian. It's a fortune. Mr. John Ackley. Mm. So, pushing into round number four, we'll see what Sonics want to do here, but it's looking like... Pretty much the exact same hole that they were doing last time, if not the exact same hole, because they're bringing the same operators as well. And I told you, I told you they brought a mute here last time. Yeah, they have it now and ready to go against the Lion. And not a single hard breach for Orgulus. No Maverick, no Habana. Uh, this is now turned into Latin America all of a sudden. I'm not liking it, James. This is, <laughs> this is gonna, this is gonna end in probably disaster for Orglis because they're gonna try and run in, but they're just gonna come up against Gonfi and Slavin, who kind of rule the roost. I, I feel for Sonics nine times out of ten. Whenever there is these quick, crazy rushes, and if you look at the clutch potential that uh, Sonics okay. have, so it's specifically down to them too. That's what we missed last time. They put a mute jammer on that mirror in the bathroom. That's why it wasn't opened up. But you can still need that though. Like that's yeah. the thing. They don't bring nades. Yeah, there's the, there's a little Jaeger on the board, but yeah, you should be able to burn the ADS, but yeah, this is It's not difficult, it's very simple. This isn't looking too good for Orgles, I just, the lack of a Maverick and lack of oh. a Havana here, there's just straight up rush coming out from Macro, and he's gonna find one, and finds two, what? How do you let him do that to you? So I've been just finding one in return, Tripper goes down. But this is actually looking great for Orgles right now. Makarov trying to bait out any kind of peaky cam, but Slevin finds one blind, he immediately trades it out. And it's all down to Super and Gonfi to try and bring this in. Super has no Nitro remaining, and he's fallen out of that bathroom position and back into logistics. Gonfi's off-site in server to try and find one. He gets in Bravo Dog, what are you looking at? As Makarov with a triple kill enters in, takes down Super, it's all down to Gonfi to try and bring this in. He's gonna know someone's in the hallway. He sees the ash, tries to go for the pre-fire, but they're just constant peeking back and forth going out. Makarov just takes everyone down, and Oglis is going to find their first round on the full pass. Yeah, that's what we call just a quick <laughs> lion rush. There is nothing, really, that we can say that Orglis did wrong there. You know, they managed to find out where they wanted to entry from. Nobody holding main stairs from Sonics is kind of being the big mystery. They didn't even have anybody in main stairs for their last gym. And that is kind of like the pinnacle of holding the breach is from main stairs. That's why there always is one defender. And, and of course, also disallows the attackers from having main stairs because that main stairs, it cuts the bomb site in two. That's kind of your rotation connector point of the entire thing. It stops anybody from logistics oh. coming in. It stops anybody even rotating from construction. Uh, there's so many things that main stairs offers up and I just don't get why Sonics don't hold it. Nook being brought in. Habana is here, because I feel as if they are expecting now Sonics to go for the church, but they're going to go straight gym again, and Gonfi now on the L. Does he have the Titan Killer? Nick, Nick, coming back in. We did see a bit of Nook during the last NA play day, but overall in the OGA calls, we haven't seen a huge amount of Nook. She's not a strong operator. She's very okay. underwhelming. I think she's very, very niche to yep. what you want to do. I think, honestly, it could be the play here, because... um of like Maestro cams being put down into sight and that's generally where Sonic's shutdown has come from from being able to look at the Maestro cams in places that they're not playing in like construction places and stuff like that so 
Ten? I, I don't know. I want to see where this nook pushes from. Like maybe main stairs, but we've seen two pushes come up main stairs before. Yeah, from all nobody's the nobody's there from from Sonic's anyway. So yeah, yeah it, it's not just that. Like Sonic's now should be expecting that, right? And they should be able to shut that out instantly. Yeah. So I'm interested in where this push is actually going to come from. Potentially garage as well. That could also be a good push spot. I've only seen Nook work really well, and that was our first Latin America play day with Liquid, and Ness took that on bank, and he solo pushed Garage, snuck yes. past yes. the Maestro camera, and just opened everything up. That's the only time I've ever seen Nook really work well. Other than that, she just kind of crouch walks around. It's just like a worse <laughs> Ash in many cases, and I don't know, it's just an op rare that I don't really see having a whole lot of impact in really any time she's picked. Uh, but we'll see how Orgles want to play her. They will now begin and actually try and pressure the guys inside of construction this time, which they didn't really do last time. No castle, which is kind of a good combination to assist your roamers, where you can uh, sanction off different windows to disallow different angles being held, and kind of keeps everybody at bay. But since they don't have that, they also could kind of add into Sonic just going for peeking and everything, oh and there's Timsey God. just in lounge and wins the 1v1 straight up against Slabin. How how does Slevin let that happen? That is not uh, good. It's at all. just a crouch walker, you know. Timsy, that could yeah. happen to anybody. He's able to get the entry frag as well, and the drones are gonna be coming up and he is going for that garage tick as well. But already a 4v5 situation developing. Sonic's already losing a decent amount of ground over in that cash side. You still have one person playing over there, however. Maybe the Titan Killer of Gomfi. Oh, from below, that was a direct hit as well. That's 90 damage being done on Gomfi right there. That's a huge hit right now, and that could be Gomfi basically dead yeah. now as he tries to hold down cash. He doesn't have the Titan Killer. That's why that's happened to him. Ah. If you take the FO12, you have nothing to worry about. But instead, he's took the Scorpion, which can be decent. But for the most part, you really need to land your shots because the recoil can be pretty wild. Still alive, though, so still a threat nonetheless. Mirror window, alive and well instead of bathroom, and Super has that vision. They have that Habana ready to go, but still no fry grenades from Orglis to really deal with them. I don't get why you open up Jacuzzi. You know the mirror is there. Why open it up and just leave it soft? What's, what's the point? There's no point at all. Either way, they're going to recognize that that push just isn't working for them. They're going to rotate instead of wait. But Gonfi's going to find the first kill for Sonics this round. Bravo Dog already going to go down. There's a big pick coming out. Is that is the IQ off the board? And Sonic's still holding down quite well. I mean, Super seems to know that they have not gone this side, so he's going to communicate that to his team. Gonfi still holding behind the A bomb as well as Neptune's playing just behind this island. Angle pushes all the way in, but Gonfi gets caught out. And this is not looking good. Goddess has a great angle, however. She should be able to get a free freebie frag out of here, but Timsy moves in, takes down Gomfi, Blonde takes down Neptunes, and this is not good! Oh my god! Everyone from Sonic just gets slaughtered! It's all down to Super, but no, he can't bring it in. Makarov takes him down, and Orglis again with a su successful gym attack. This is looking great for them now. Oh yeah, now they're fired up. They still have one more attack to go, and Sonics really need this one. Clubhouse is pretty defender-sided, and if you look at the bands, well, eh, it can be a little bit, honestly, I feel as if it's a lot more tricky for the defense whenever you are lacking the Kaid, uh, which is kind of that main counter to Abana, whenever you see the Thatcher. Um, perhaps then Orgles weren't expecting him to kind of get this, the, you know, these many rounds, especially if you take the next one. Uh, you know, they banned the Kaid, fearing that Sonics would kind of ramp up like a 6-0 scoreline, potentially. But now whenever they go on the defense, they also could struggle. Yeah, they could. The lack of the hard breach denial is definitely a big issue. I think Sonics had worked away that quite nicely when they brought the mute as well. It's kind of uh, eliminated a lot of options here, but I'm going to bring the mute this time as they go downstairs to a church and arsenal room hold for them. Let's have a look and what Orglus want to do here because that's who we're really paying wow. attention to now. And we see Bravo Dog finally back on that Twitch as well. That's kind of my main thing here because he was doing insane on bank. With it. Nook again. Um, I don't think she'll do much on, on church because not a lot gets past many positions in church. There's I, no I think real. He's got to be the blue push, right? With the Nook. I think that's the only place you're pushing and you're thinking that you could be able to do something here. But it's like, when is there ever like a camera looking into blue? Like, it's, have you ever seen a Maestro camera looking down there? It's not so much that as more as just like the crouch walking, like if you be able to eliminate the barbed wire. Yeah, but then any any operator can do that though, James. Yeah, no. Like that, like the whole thing about her gadget. Specialty. Like she's supposed to counter Echo, Maestro, and Valkyrie. That's her whole thing. 
But whenever Maestro, Echo, or Valkyrie doesn't really have that much of an impact in blue, what's the point of pushing that? You may as well just pick like any other operator sure, sure. with, you know, m ton like a miles better of a gun, because the FMG is, is not a good one. But potentially, they also just didn't expect them to go downstairs again, but we'll have a look what the implementation of the Nook is here. But the rest of the line from Ogle's side, I do enjoy, I do enjoy this. I think this is what Ogle's kind of need, and that's what has been their most success, is just pushing in with fraggers and being able to just take the gunfights early on and you know just eliminating all of that stuff because they're not winning this in utility right now Clear. sonics have brought the legion and that makes a lot of sense for a bomb site which has a lot of entrance ways and whenever it comes down to those final you know minute 30 seconds pushes cool. everybody gets up by a it makes a lot of sense you know what it could be? It could either be a dirt push or just down main stairs and like through the main hall kind of push it. coming out from the nook because there is like two cameras there. There's the Maestro cam that's watching that, that goddess is the peeking off, and there's also the main knock, like knock. stairs cam at the bottom of it. Attackers have recovered their diffuser. Still trying to figure out what, what they want to do here. They're opening up a lot of ways in. They're just checking their options, droning out, seeing which side could be the weakest. Timsy will actually go for the dirt instead, so that's where he's going to be positioned. So we could see a kitchen, potentially, or it could be a full memorial push, trying to get rid of Super, still behind that mirror window, still bringing no frag grenades. Still none, none of them, which it still baffles me whenever you know you're going up against the mirror, which is being commonly taken by Sonics, only missing out on the one round on cash and everything else. It's just been all about the mirror windows and a big pinnacle point for the Sonic's defense. So if they try and go for the mirror window push and try and go into Moto, this is where Timsy could then try and get these freebies because everybody instead of Armory is going to be looking towards a Moto oh. and, well, doesn't even get that close. Loses that gunfight and, oh, just a landslide of Sonic's kills come in and, and a one versus five and Orgle as well. They're going to lose the church unless the man Florin can pull out of the bag. Doesn't even get the strap on. <laughs> Do not take that the other way. <laughs> if that's what you're thinking, because you, you're, just, you're, you're a filthy boy, if you're thinking that. It's just unfortunate time, you know, just unfortunate way of speaking. I think what they wanted to do there is they flashed the church wall, they had two people stacked up on the moto drop, and they were just going to drop there and push from all sides at once. But Sonic's just had absolutely everything on lock. They knew exactly what was going to happen there. And they just shut it all down completely. Mm -hmm. So some great frags coming out there across from Sonics to shut down that push. But a 4-2 scoreline, honestly, I don't think you could be too unhappy with that as Oculus. It's going to be a big hill now for them to climb. Uh, they need to play near enough perfect, especially those basement. They need to nail uh, to kind of nail those in. It feels if cash should be pretty simple for them to kind of hold because it does kind of lead them into that aggressive nature. And even if we want to try to go for C4s from below, but honestly, the cover from Sonics, even looking at Bank, they've been great at kind of doubling up on disallowing yeah, Orglas for going for specific pushes. Yeah, no, they definitely have, and we'll see what Sonics want to do on this attack, but. This is just a great lineup from them. This is exactly what you want to be bringing for this clubhouse attack. Considering that there is a Thatcher ban and a Thermite ban as well, I think this has to be purely kitchen takes, honestly, right now. Okay. Orglas bringing the mirror window. Sonics, they do have frag grenades. So you can straight away see that Sonics realize how strong Mira is. Yeah, and looks like they're pretty much setting with the same mirror windows that Sonic's were doing. Yeah, it's exactly here. the same. Yeah, but that that church Sonic's window thing can be it can be pretty good, and the uh, the blue one as well for a little bit of decent info coming out. I so, miss the uh, the EG mirror, where you put you have the triple wall in church and you put one on left, put one on right, and leave the soft middle because then yeah. you shut down the main stairs and the memorial all at once. Something that isn't possible anymore because of the way that. Blue's changed, but you used to be able to put one in blue facing onto Moto Door to cover that rush spot mm -hmm. as well, and that, that could also be good. There's, there's some creative use as a mirror here, and I think generally she just gets really heavily underused for Bravo Where Dark. Where is he at? What? How did he already pick up that oh, kill on Secret? Chill. Oh my god. Capitao already dead. That's a huge pick coming out from Orgles. Jump in. Oh my oh, god. Makarov. That Who was a that freebie. One, that was an absolute Just freebie the for the definition of a there, freeb. Neptune's did join him out and he didn't know what he was doing there, but yeah, that jump in animation, it was definitely hard to try and get that fight, but Neptune's is able to find that kill. 
And he's even out there, man count. There's also, that's a nitro off the board for Orgles as well, as one of their roamers. And it's still nades on the board as well, because mm -hmm. since you've lost your capital, which could have been a good option to get rid of the mirror window, you have to heavily rely on those nades now. Uh, Sonics more than likely will try and go for like a kitchen moto kind of push. You know, they're bringing Neptunes on the back to perhaps open up in towards the kitchen to eliminate anybody lurking inside of Armory. Bravo Dog's actually going to be ready for the fight. He's opened up his own holes looking straight up to the door frame. Timsey will get droned out, so he's not going to be able to play as aggressive what he would like to. Uh, and just everybody from Orgles are just looking for picks now, looking for options for them. I, I like this though because they know there's a book on the board, so they're going to know that Neptune is going to try and do that working kitchen to get that vertical play on the go. And shotguns are a great counter to that, honestly, and you can easily pick up a book kill doing that, but it looks like he's going to try and open up some holes here to be able to possibly nade out this mirror. This is a really tricky nade to try and get off, and I'll be very surprised if he tries to go for it, but Ravador could also go for a nitro cell of his own here. Just iron it up. Doesn't want to go for it, though. Because really, Sonics haven't put any pressure in the kitchen, so he has no need to. Sonics are just kind of with the wind. They are doing some things, but none of that is looking to be set up for a great push. Super is on the back. He has all five of his gas canisters still ready in the blowtorch. And, well, the drops came in, and straight away, Timsy has a rinse Neptunes. And now Sonics, they have to go fast and furious. Gumphy does push in and gets that Mira, and another one will be behind A-Bomb. He gets that as well and swung right into Sonics' favor, and whenever Goddess can still try and go for the plan. Oh, but Smoke, he's still lurking beside the Mira window. They have no idea. It should be the easy peek around. Yes, oh, 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 bravo, dog. Quite literally, bravo to you, my friend. And that's completely nailed Sonics in the wrong way. <laughs> You're, you're really putting out the euphemisms today, Demo. I just think that you're reading too much into this. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. But you're, you're, you know, me and Fluke never have this. Really? We, we just get each other. You're, Fluke, you, is you a, just, Fluke is an innocent person. You just think, you know, Yeah. all, all the innuendos go sorry. on your shoulders, man, you know? Well, we're going to move into round three, and we'll see what Sonics want to think of that round. But that is a devastating loss for them, I'm sure, but... Still, can't be too unhappy with it at all. It's a basement defense. It's only the first round of their attacks. And Oglus are going to move to CCTV room and cash room defense instead. I think from Sonics, this is kind of more what they were expecting. But again, this lineup can this can attack anywhere, honestly. I think what's going to happen here is that Neptune's is going to move below in supply. They're going to open up that east wall and try and open up the construction wall as well, potentially. Potentially using the Maverick here in the same way where Orgles were using Maverick to make the wall soft. I don't think that was really effective from Orgles, but I think here it can be really effective. We were talking about how, well, you were talking about how having a Thermite it lets you open those big open yep. walls, and mm. that's something you definitely need here for that East Wall. Yeah, the only thing you need from B bombsite specifically is just the wall being open to sanction off the crosses. It means that anybody playing inside of Catwalk can't escape. Nobody can run over and assist them. And it just means everybody from Orgles has to take a back step. They're bringing the Capitao so they can go ahead and fire out anybody towards the top of it uh, in the catwalk and just put a lot of pressure onto that. And potential spawn peak, but hasn't worked for Makarov. Everybody just dodge past it. So they have brought the Doc, and Doc can actually be really useful whenever you are dealing with uh, the cash, especially for your man up in catwalk, because if he gets down by like a nade or something, he could be picked straight back up. Oh my god, he actually got away with that. Are you kidding me? I was going to say, I kind of like the coordination here between Timzy and Makarov. Like, Timzy distracts them, and then Makarov runs out, but and like vice versa. But he just ran out immediately and managed to get a frag out of it as soon as that Maverick started to come through. So, Capital again, already off the board so early on. Slevin's not going to be happy about that one today. Golf, however, does get the refrag, and that is onto the Maestro. So, those evil eyes. We have to hope now they're positioned the straight way. Because that is sometimes that everybody's been there. You put your maestro cameras down, you've died, and they look at a wall. And that's all they look at. You've been there. I know you've been there. I've been there multiple times. I've been there. Everybody's been there. <laughs> so, and, and as I said, yeah, this is exactly what's going to happen from Sonics. Is they're going to try and make this wall just soft. Or maybe just, uh, just we take the Mutra so. off the board, actually. In Balan, however, on the opposite side, is going to take Neptunes off the board, and that is nades down now. So uh, that's a lot of utility going down from Sonics, and that is a massive pick from Balan, honestly. 
Sonics have control of Garage, though, and that does give them an entry, uh, entry way in to specifically get the Diffuser down. And Gonis does have that in her pocket. But there is a lot of denial, though. You still have a C4 and smokes to go through. And well, whenever Super doesn't really have a clear way into the bomb site, so. <laughs> he's going to make one for himself. He's trying to, but I think that's a little bit too small for him. He's not Doki sized, could, is he? He could slip in. He's not Doki sized. Get some butter or oil or something like that. You can get in. Get okay, a bit of lard going. Yeah. A bit of the margarine. Guys are going to try and go for the pre fires and try and move in where she can. There's a lot of info still up, as well as the Maestro Cam that's still up there as well. But the. What? Oh my god! What was that? So. He jumped out and managed to wall bank, but he managed to do a bit of damage there. But constant kills are going to be coming out as well as Rabbit Dog wide peeks out. It's all on to Super to try and bring something in. But a 1v4 with 40 seconds left to go. It doesn't seem likely, but he does still have three flashbangs remaining. There's going to be a little bit of a bullet hole speed open up in stage, and that's going to confirm the kill as well. Makarov doing so much work this round, but wow, what a great defense from Vogels this time. Yeah, they just took the early fights, and they kept fighting throughout that, and Doc, especially Makarov, what he did in construction was he knew the angle, because that entire window was soft, yeah. and he just lined it up and just started spraying. But it was Blan who actually got the kill yeah, in the end. Yeah, because it forced so... Goddess to come back yeah. into the window site. It was good, it was good, it was really good. It's, it's crazy that he actually knows that angle and that he's crazy enough to actually go for that as well because jumping out construction with is very, very Man risky. Man plays love rank. Yeah, there you go. He does indeed love it. Of course, he is a member of Katsu, who... Yeah, they're, they're a pretty good team. They have made it to the USN finals a couple of times now, like the conference finals, so... You know, they're, they're a good team, and Makarov definitely doing the work today for Orglus. We're going to move to a gym bedroom defense right now, as we move to round number nine. Yikes. <laughs> oh no. I'm I'm ready for the response though. Attackers need to locate and Will it come super, in super? If Super doesn't respond now, you know that there's anger. Oh the ma the man's team. getting there. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> <laughs> so moving is around number nine. We're gonna see another gym defense coming out from so in fact, no, sorry, this was the first time that we've seen a gym defense coming out from Orgles. But we have seen this a couple times already from Sonics, so we know what to expect. But no mirror coming out from Orgles, sir. No. But they will go for the castle. But they go for the castle, and they don't have, like, a bandit to support that. Because the whole thing about having the... the castles is to lock off the gym windows, so then you can bandit trick freely and not have to worry about anything. And they're not going for it. Which is really weird. So they're bringing the castles, yes, the sanction of Jim, but that could just be easily opened up by Sonics. There's really nothing that stops them. Um, <laughs> I still just this chat, man. Um, I really just going off on it. Yeah, let's just leave that for now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, again, a lot more aggressive coming out from August. We see both Vigil and Jaeger up on the board. Able to do a little bit more and nasty roam work as well as Blan on that pulse. So just huge amounts of roaming and just huge amounts of aggression coming out overall. They're just loose, aren't they? Yeah. They're nothing's really structured. <laughs> you know, they're free guys downstairs for a gym and, and bedroom. Attack they don't have an extension into construction. This just kind of adds on to the whole weird why bring the castle? Because castle is used for the extensions also into like the server, because that helps you by uh, denying access to the main window in construction, which kind of separates you from everybody else in the bomb site, and then you guys over in server. So I don't really know what they're trying to play. And well, Goddess did spot out there is something amiss inside of Strip Club, and I have a wonder that I think they might send Gumpfy over there to try and do something. Timsy, one HP in a dream for him. That's incredible that he actually just got away with that and gets away on 1 HP. No duck up, surprisingly, from August, however, so he's not going to be able to heal up at all. But Makarov's going to help him out over here in the garage and see exactly what's going on. Super's opened up a little bit of a line for himself here in server to try and cut off any rotates going through here. Lots of drones are going out. But there's a Mew Jammer, of course, up as well. It's going to make things a little bit more difficult here for Sonics, and they do still have those nades up. This time, Nep has brought the sledge rather than the book. And I think it's a little bit more useful here. 
because of the castle barricades. Yeah, because you can just simply go ahead and sledge them and typically castle barricades on this gym and bedroom, they are deployed on outside windows. And that's a big thing why I don't like outside windows uh, being castled because sledge is just, you know, it says, oh, look, here's some free utility for me to get rid of. And there's really no risk at all for sledge. Going for C4, oh. Hail Mary. Cuts a good long arm, but uh, no, doesn't get it. And well now for Sonics. They still keep in it so far, and Timsy down to 1 HP, but equally Nap, he's extremely slow, and Makarov peaking the Maverick holes, but still Sonics looks as if they're in the bomb site. Smoke was covered, but there's Bravo in logistics, still staying strong, and Timsy now has rotated up main stairs to try and assist him, but quickly does get shut down, and that's just down to Super, who was trying to hold Makarov on the flank in a 1v2 form with 15 seconds to go. This doesn't look good. Yeah, it doesn't look good at all. Jacuzzi wall, however, is open, and there's a bit of a bathroom wall opening for him as well here, but the shotgun comes out, the white beat comes out, Super's worrying here for it, and he gets shut down. Oglas take round number nine, and they're looking so much better on this defense than they were on attack. Sonics all of a sudden falling apart a little bit on a map that really should be theirs. To be fair, Sonics did also win their first three defenses as well. True, true. So, you know, it could it's... be adaptation coming out. Like now you game yeah. past that first three rounds. Now you know what round what well mm -hmm. what sites they're gonna go to and you know what setup they're gonna do. So on the fly adaptation can definitely come through for them. Also, something that you wanna note here that since Orglus have moved forceful back to that coaching role, they've been a little bit better at adapting, and I think that may come from the fact that Forceful is able to just watch the stream and he's mm -hmm. able to have that delay and he's been, okay, okay, this is what they've been doing here, let's kind of adapt a little bit, let's, you know, pick it up a little bit and... Yeah, use the tactical timeouts. Yeah, yeah definitely, definitely. <laughs> yeah, something like that. But we're going to be going back down to that church house room defense, but this time we're seeing an alibi. I know that you said about the adaptation, about, you know, yeah. Forceful now being the coach. Yeah. Maybe it's just because he isn't playing to begin with. Well, let's that not be too also harsh, you know? Let's be nice, let's be nice. Oh, come I mean, on. If, I mean if you're if you not have the wrong, choice to play with Blarn you didn't have to say it. Just say it, man. Come on. <laughs> just unleash your inner foreign. Just do it. It's unfortunate. I like Forceful. So, you know, I'm not going to roast him too hard on stream. I don't know the guy, so... If you want to be the bad guy, lose. go for it. I'll go for it. I'll just... You set any NA player up against me, unless it's uh, B-O-U, uh, then, you know... Because I like him. He's, he's a good player. Him. <laughs> That's how you say it, isn't it? Boho? Bulu, Bialo, yeah, Bebo, something, something, something like, like that. that. Yeah. <laughs> Justin Bebo. <laughs> <laughs> Round number 10 getting underweight, however. Orglus so far flawless on their defenses. Let's see if they can keep it up as they move yet again down stairs. We've seen a super aggressive defense from them, and it doesn't look like that's calming down anytime soon because Minecraft picked up the Alibi. Right. Alibi is an operator who doesn't have like a big, massive, influential gadget, you know? Yes. Prismas are just decoys off herself that give pings out whenever you shoot them. But the thing is, though, they stand still. We don't really see a lot of players just standing up still, do we? That, that never really happens, and it's very easy to tell the real one from the default ones. And honestly, I would like to see where, you know, whatever loadout you're using also then correlates to the alibis, because if you look at an alibi and you see there's, like, no sight on it, you know it's not a real one. Yeah, that's true. I don't know why that was never added in. Yeah. Because that would make sense a lot, wouldn't it? But I think, you know, you take the alibi for the gun here, and I think that's exactly what Macro oh, yeah, the wanted to play. Storm, yeah. Very heavily aggressive, but he's already going to get punished for that. Gonfi going to take him off the board very early on as Neptune starts to open up a little bit. But, but, oh my god, through two floors! Blan's going to take him down, but instantly does get traded out by Gonfi. But that is a great pick coming out from August Book already off the board. That is a good one coming out from them. Yeah, we'll see how they continue to capitalize on this. But then again, Sonic didn't really utilize the butt play in their last church. You know, Kitchen was left completely soft. Nades didn't really get used as well. There was really nothing. You know, I think we see Neptunes in that first church. He just dropped the hatch and died straight away by Timsy behind the mirror window, which isn't here this time around. So there's no mirror window that Sonics have to put up with. But then that does mean that full wall is fully reinforced that they then have to get through. And Trippinger is going for a stroll down the maiden stairs. And Bravo Dog's going to try and cover what? him. And what? Go how would Gonfi expect that? Come on. I mean, there should be someone moto oh. to shut this down, but no trip and just continues to walk up the stairs, continues to get frags. Finally, Goddess will what shut him world? down, but oh my god. You know what he heard? He heard Super say, hey, trip in the map stud, and he's like, you know, I'm about to frag out, and that's what he did. A bomb has been 
Sonics. Now a 2v2. Timsey eliminated very quickly. That's a oh. great pick from Bravo Dog. And Slabin has to take an early snooze in this round. And Goddess now. Can she keep the nerf? Can she win the 1v1? Bravo Dog holding on to the angle. And the peak comes in and he wins it. This man. Who let the dog out? Bravo Dog's just been in such a great job so far. Like, such a great pick from him coming out. To just clutch it out, and you know he he brought it in last church defense as well with his flank with through ash wall with the yep. shotgun he'd be able to take two people off the board, and he just did uh, well not the same thing but something equally as important there. We'll see how things continue to go down, but Orglus is now on a match point and definitely able to bring us into our decider of cafe, and I think we we kind of said about how cafe Orglus could definitely take that if we went there. Yeah, Cafe was, you know, looking good for Orglis whenever they got that free. We didn't expect them, though, to do this in Clubhouse. We really thought that Sonics were just going to run over them, uh, especially if you look at the way they played in Bank, which is very structured for the attacks. The attacks for Sonics have not done well for them. Already losing four defenses in a row to Orglis. Yeah. It's, it's a rough one. It, it really is. If you look at it now, you have to win these next two, which... Uh, it's going to be cash, first of all, but then Jim will also be unlocked. But Church now, Church is, that's fully locked out now. So, Orioles don't have that kind of safety net where they've been looking really good in Church. They don't have that no, uh, no more unless they get to the overtime, which, no, in Orgulus, they're not going to want to get there. They want to get on the cafe. Something that we mentioned on Bank that I think has been really important now for Orgulus and why they've been winning so many defenses is being aggressive, taking that early pick yep. on Sonics, removing that early utility, which we've seen pretty much every single round of Orgulus' defense that they've been able to get aggressive, either through a spawn peak or just early roaming or just aggression overall coming out from them. They've got an important first pick, like a Burke or a Capitao, and it's just completely shut down Sonics' attack. So really good early aggression coming out from Orgulus, definitely capitalizing on their mistakes from Bank. Orglis, will you spawn peek again? Because Makarov, he's not afraid of going for that. Uh, certainly isn't. And, you know, looking at Makarov, he has been like the man that doesn't really fear Sonics whenever these kind of early engagements come in. He, he, you know, look at this. Simply peeking main door, but also he knows his boundaries. Like, he, he knows when to peek and when not to, and gets droned out, and he knows the hightail out there as quick as he can, but still being a threat. That's the main thing that kind of orglis whenever they're moving very swiftly and, and freely around the map. Unless Sonics can really chain them down, they're always going to be a menace in the late game. That's great work, honestly, though. Like, even if he doesn't get a kill here, he's taking two drones off the board, and he's still, as you said, he's that threat. They're going to want to drone him out a little bit more, and that's three drones off the board that you cannot stress how great that is, but he gets a kill as well out of it! There goes Gonfi, and that's the Ash entry who's been so devastating to Orglis' defense off the board so early on. Yeah, but where's the refry? Where's the other man that's supposed to help your main drones. entry? Where is he? You need another guy if you're pushing in. You need the refry, and... And, like, and nobody from Tonics, dude, it's just as if Gonfi just, you know, that's normal for him to die there. Nobody else is hopping on the opportunity to try and hunt Makarov. They know where he is. They know he's still a threat. And yet they're doing nothing about that. But there's more kills, though, for Orglis and Sonics. They look as if they've collapsed. They look as if they can't even win an attack on, on Clubhouse. They can't do it. And now Super has to be the man to win a 1v4. Now he's, oh my god, he does actually get a kill out of it. There goes Timzy, but the trade instantly does come through from Trippin. And Orglis take round number 11 wow. and bring in the map. What just happened? A flawless defense from Orglis just completely brings it in. And we'll send us to a decider of Cafe. We were saying just before the stream, we had absolutely no idea what was really going to happen no. here. Uh and yeah, I I guess that is still a surprising result, though. We need to see what happens next because we have to take a break now. We have to recollect our thoughts, but don't go anywhere because Cafe is coming right up.
absolutely stunning! Predict the outcome, win the game. Get live coverage and schedules for your favorite tournaments. Analyze, predict, and vote to gain points. Compete with other esports fans and climb the leaderboards. Straight, everything esports. Download now on iOS and Android.